Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dan Geesing, and welcome to first look at Hollow Explorer 2.31. So this is a little bit different, but I want to explain to you exactly what this is. So inside of Star Citizen, you have the ability to change out weapons and and shields and all sorts of different things in the game in your hangar hollow table. However, it doesn't work exactly perfect. Uh, this is a third party web based application that allows you to do just that. So you can go to it by going to hollow explorer.space. There'll be a link in the description below, but it just makes the whole process a lot easier. So the first thing you do is you go to the website and then you upload your XML file. Okay, so in case you just got lost there, it really s steps it out very simply and very easily for you. The first thing you do is you go to Star Citizen folder, you go to Public User Database, and then there's only one uh, file in the database folder that you need to upload. So you can either manually upload it or drag and drop. I'm actually going to drag and drop here. And so that gets uploaded, and then here you go. So now this gives you a different interface here and shows you all of the ships that you have unlocked and I'm guessing purchased. I don't fully understand because, you know, like, for example, I have three Hornets here, even though I only own one. Um, so and, and I think that's a, more of an issue with my account than it is with the Hollow Explorer. But let's go ahead and say, for example, let's go ahead and look at our Super Hornet. So you click on your Super Hornet here and it gives you all sorts of detail. Uh, OK, this is the overview view page and it shows you, OK, you have, you know, two options for size one weapons, three options for size two weapons. It just breaks everything down in a very, very simple and a lot easier to at least conceptualize for someone like myself who's, who's a visual learner uh, to understand what's on each ship. For each ship that you load up, there's, you know, there's an overall specs tab, there's a weapons tab, ammo, shields, power, avionics, um, which I'm, I have no idea that was audio. And then uh, they just must have just added these coolers. Um, but what you can do here, and this is exactly what we're going to do on, on this and this um, this video is we're going to swap out some guns. But before we do that, we're going to actually rent some guns and reload our file. But so say, for example, you wanted to remove, um, you know, your size one guns if in the game. So you take your size one gun. This is first off. This one is located on the right slot of the canard. And this is a bulldog repeater. So in case you can't read it, because I know the, the, the print's a little little tight you can read it all just down below here so let's click that and then if you want to remove it you just click it and drag it so now it's removed so if we were to load into the game now our hornet would be our super hornet would be missing one weapon so let's go for right now let's put this thing back right there it also tells you where you can drop it so you know this you can put a size one and a size two slot it just makes things a lot more easy to understand and it's very well done especially for a third party application but let's go back and let's go back to our hangar here and just for kicks and giggles so you guys can see the difference let's go look at this constellation let's just look at the loadout and the difference in this thing so it tells you everything i mean it tells you cargo capacity anything that you'd want to know about your ship it also i wonder what this does so this looks like it compares the different ships. Survivability, 974%. Is that better than the Super Hornet? But either, what? I had no idea I had this kind of ammo. But uh, nonetheless, it's a great way to start learning how to customize your ships in Star Citizen a lot better. And speaking of, we're going to go ahead and... so. So we have, uh, you know, we have a few additional weapons more so thanks to you guys for using the referral link in the description below. A lot of people have used it to sign up. So we've been rewarded with a, a bunch of different, you know, weapons and, and upgrades. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to go into uh, Robert Space Industry and we're going to rent a few guns because I've never really messed with the loadouts um, a ton, you know, especially with purchased weapons. And so I want to do that. So in case you're unaware of how the rental credits work. So if you go to the Robert Space Industry website and you go to store and Voyager Direct is like the UEC or real money store. If you go to electronic access, this is where you can spend rental credits that are earned in the game. And you can earn rental credits by doing racing and battle royale and things in Arena Commander. Um, 
in particular that are online or, you know, against, not against bots, against real players. So you can rent ships, but in our case, we're going to rent uh, three of the same weapons. Because I'm actually going to go with a standard, I don't want to say a standard build, but I prefer when a ship has all of the guns on one reticle, just for aiming reasons. I just, uh, I, I want to try that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we are going to rent... So anything you can buy with UEC or real money, you can also rent for a reduced cost um, on a seven-day basis. Now, it, it may sound a little confusing, but so we're going to buy three of these Panther repeaters. And so we'll get a chance to use these for seven individual 24-hour periods. So it's a lot longer than a week, if that makes sense. So if we don't log, so if we logged in Monday, we use it Monday, It'll go from Monday, and then if we don't log in Tuesday, Tuesday doesn't count as our day using it. So we're going to go ahead and purchase these. So I went ahead and I rented the three Panther repeaters. So the next step that I did to kind of load this into our Hollow Explorer is this is the in-game Hollow table that you could swap out your weapons and things like that. This is this is what's available to you in-game, and it's a little wonky. It looks cool. Uh, but it's a little wonky, um, and it, but here it shows us our different loadouts and things like this. The only reason why I signed into the hollow table was so that after we rented the guns through the RSI website, it would propagate into our new database file. So now that this is set up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to alt tab out of Star Citizen and go back to the hollow explorer. All right, so now that the game essentially downloaded my new rental credits or my new guns that I use the rental credits for, I'm going to re-upload the file because it was updated after signing into the server, which sometimes, you know, I forget to do that. But now when we sign in and let's go to our Super Hornet, we should now have the Panther repeaters on the side. There we go, three of them. You can tell there's three of them based on that 3X in the bottom right corner. Now, to me, that was the easy part. Now, the hard part is understanding how I wanted to do this setup. So, I'm going to remove our size one guns. So, I'm going to take off each of the bulldog repeaters. I'm not sure if that's... Actually, let me, let me slide back. Let's put our bulldog repeaters back on because those are just size one guys. So, what I want to do is take off these laser cannons. So, this is the gimbal mounted slot. It doesn't say if it's left or right so we'll take that one off and then we're going to take off the other m4a laser cannon so those are size two and then i believe if i take off this canard turret it allows us to put a size three in i'm not mistaken let's just see so if we take this entire turret off hornet s3 canard mount what happens okay so we lose that so let's put this s3 mount back on that wasn't the answer What's in our size three? What if we take off these two badger repeaters here? No. Take off these S3 gimbal mounts. There's a way to do it. So we there we go. Okay. There's so we took off the gimbal mounts, which allows us to, if I'm not mistaken, an S3 gimbal mount is a size three gimbal that allows you to put a gimbaled weapon of a lower size on your ship. I don't really care about gimbaled weapons, at least for now, because I want to try this build out. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put these two repeaters on, Panthers. So this one will go on the left wing. This one will go on the right wing. And there should be one more slot. On the, then we're going to put, ah, okay. Then we're going to put this Panther repeater on the front nose. And we just lost something by doing that. The question is, what did we lose? So unless we're going to go into this thing with five guns, which I'm okay with, but we could try that. I don't know what hap what's in our turret, though. Front slot, this must be our turret. What happens if we put this canard? See, that's what I don't get here. There's got to be a way to... I read there's a way to have three size three guns. We want one on the nose. So let's take these guys off here. And th like I said, this is the confusing part for me because I don't, I have a hard time fully conceptualizing what gun slots are on each ship. But this at least makes it a little bit more straightforward. So if we take this turret off, then what happens? So then we're down to five gun slots. If we put this turret back on, 
then we got six, but those are maybe we can go two. Those those can only hold size two. So I thought there's a way we could put if we get rid of this turret, that's okay. Canard. Isn't that the front? Hornet ball. So let's do this. So let's go Panther Repeater in the front slot. We're gonna go five weapons. Then we're gonna go Badger Repeater. And Badger Repeater. Okay, so here's here's what our loadout looks like then. So we still have our missile loadouts. And then we have a Panther Repeater, which is a size three repeater in the left wing. Or excuse me, right wing, a Panther Repeater on the left wing, and a Panther Repeater in the front slot instead of this canard turret, which allows you. So what we could do, okay, now I'm, see, now I'm there, thanks to Hollow Explorer. Now I'm there, instead of having one gun on the nose, we could put this mount there and have two guns, but they'd be size 2 instead of size 3. I don't want to try that. I wanted to go see how this would look, look locked in. So what we're going to do here is, so now that this is set up how we want it, the, the final thing you have to do to get uh, to get your hollow or your, your build out in the game is you click the download button and then you just put that XML file in the same place that you down from. So essentially you're swapping out your database file. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so now with our loaded in hollow Explorer database folder, I went into our hangar, and look at this. There used to be two size 2 guns in the front. Now we have a panther repeater, so that worked good. There's another panther repeater on our right wing. There should be another panther repeater on our left wing. And there's two badger repeaters up top. There you go. So Hollow Explorer, I'm just going to go out and let me say, I'm not sure I would have been able, as quickly or as easily, have been able to figure out exactly what how the guns on the Super Hornet would have worked, but thanks to the Hollow Explorer, I was able to. And I'd, I'd imagine a, as, you know, Star Citizen progresses that it, it gets a little bit easier, maybe a little bit easier to understand. But for now, it's a great resource for people to use who want to mess with their build out. And the best part about this is that I didn't spend a dime on upgrading these guns. So now I get to tr test out this build for seven days and see how it works. And if I like it, then I'll probably spend real money and buy the guns. Uh, but the other thing going on right now, if you're watching this video in a timely manner, the you can play Star Citizen for free for the next week. Um, there'll be a link in the description below underneath the Hollow Explorer link, um, which is, it's cool. It's called a Fly Free Week. And if you want to check out the game, feel free to uh, check it out. If you do use the link in the description below, I do get a, uh, not compensation, but I get stuff unlocked in game so thank you guys so much i hope you guys enjoyed this first look at hollow explorer and i can't wait to try out our new build in one of our let's play episodes of star citizen thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time